Hello, I'm Reverend Karen Davis of First Christian Church. One of the essential things with utilizing a candle is that you have to light the flame. But sometimes because of the wind or maybe something that's wrong with the wick, the flame will go out. So if you want the candle to provide you light or in some cases even warmth, it's important for you to be able to light that flame again. So you take your trusty match or maybe your aim and flame and once again you light the flame because then the candle can truly serve its purpose. This one not only provides light but it is a eucalyptus sage candle, so it provides a beautiful fragrance. And if necessary, by placing your hand safely over the top, can give you that little extra bit of warmth. Well, for us and our Christian walk, we carry with us the flame of our faith, the flame of God's presence and power within us. But sometimes life circumstances, our own neglect of our spiritual journey, or whatever it may be, that sometimes that spiritual flame gets blown out. And it's important for us to find a way to light that flame again, for us to be of faithfulness to God for us to be able to find that within ourselves, to find fulfillment and joy and peace, we need to light that flame again. When we light that spiritual flame and reignite our faith, then we are able to go forth doing God's work, sharing God's message, we are able to go out and light up the world with God's love and joy and peace and justice. So I encourage you this week as we reflect upon the Pentecost story from the book of Acts chapter 2 verses 1 through 21. And we read about the gathered folks who that day, the disciples and others who were gathered in Jerusalem and the Spirit of God descended upon them to remind us that God has come to be in our midst to empower us, to strengthen us, to guide us, to lead us in carrying out the message and ministry of Christ. Often Pentecost is looked at as the birth of the church, but not the birth of the institution as we've come to know it but more the birth of that movement, that movement to do God's work and to carry God's word to the corners of the earth. And in order to do that, we need to have that flame of faith within us, that desire, that passion, that commitment. And so I invite you to spend some time in reflection and prayer and fellowship with others, perhaps that being around others who are carrying that flame of faith might be enough to reignite that flame within you. Maybe it takes something a little bit more. But light that flame again and go out to do God's work. Because we know with the power and presence of God in our lives that the light will continue to shine and that we could do great things. May you not let the flame go out, but instead, may you reignite it with God's love and God's goodness. Go in peace.